Hi everyone, welcome to Tasty Ventures Season 2, where I'll travel to different places and show you the food I enjoy. In every episode, I'll be recreating one of the dishes I've tasted from my travel. I'll be starting my journey from the steel city, Sheffield. I'm here in Sheffield and we are on top of Pond Hill over here and the great thing about Pond Hill is that you can see the whole city view from here. That is the train station right down there. If you take the back entrance of the train station or back exit, I don't know what you call it, but just come out and walk your way up here and you can actually see this beautiful view. So right now we're at the back entrance of the train station. So the back entrance is pretty cool because you get like the tram stop over here. That tram stop can bring you to, well, pretty much most of the part of the city. Right in front over here, this is Markdok's new office. This is Aspect Court, you can see right there. It's just our office, it's not like a shop or a store, so unfortunately you can't visit us. Right in front of me, this is Sheffield Winter Garden. Um, it's home to like tropical kind of plants, I think. <laughs> How hard is your balls? Metal balls. <laughs> Let's go. So right in front of me, this is Peace Garden. They usually have like um, Sheffield Food Festival here every year. So around May-ish, end of May. Yeah, the last May bank holiday. Now I'm walking towards a cafe that sells really good breakfast. It's called Mama Dukes. So let's go, I'm hungry. Okay guys, I'm set under the shed and I am really regretting right now because I'm freezing. <laughs> like, I am really, really cold. So I'm gonna eat with my hoodie on. <laughs> now let me show you what I've ordered. So over here, I've got egg florentine. Egg florentine is sort of like a perfect weekend brunch kind of meal. Over here, we have the poached eggs and then we've got some buttery spinach down here. Sourdough bread, and holiday sauce over it. And a nice thing is, they even give you some kimchi on the side. Time to tuck in. Now the best thing about poached eggs is that I love to cut in the center and let the egg yolk just freeze up. Okay. Oh wow. Mm. Really enjoy the crusty bread and then with the buttery spinach as well as the creamy hollandaise sauce to give it like a nice tangy flavour to it. Mm, yum. I'm gonna add some kimchi on top to see how well it pairs. I just love kimchi. The kimchi will taste even nicer if it's slightly spicy. I'm going to quickly finish up my meal and I'm going to bring it to the next part of the city to try something else. Just finish our brunch, sort of. <laughs> so let's go grab something else to eat because, come on, that portion was too little for my hungry tummy. I found something really, really cool, guys. This is HUK and it's a charity shop. But look at what's in there. <laughs> You can actually buy a YSL, LV bag, they even have like mulberry in there, like Vivian fast food, Versace. How cool is that in a charity shop? I finally got myself a seat under the sun, which is amazing because I'm finally feeling slightly warmer. Lucky Fox is known for their chicken and waffles, which is what I've ordered. I'm also adding some hot wings today. We're gonna try the wings. Dip it in some hot sauce. Mm. 
I love it. Because it's tangy, got a bit of spice in there, and the chicken is just so sweet. Over here, we've got the chicken waffle, giving me some maple syrup and some cinnamon butter. How I normally eat this is I'm gonna take the maple syrup, pour this all over my chicken and waffle. Let's tuck in first with the chicken. Mmm. And just dip it in with some cinnamon butter. So good. Let's get some waffle. Oh. Mm. Got like a nice crispy layer on the outside and then it's fluffy in the inside. Just love that. I'm gonna dip this in with some cinnamon butter as well. So if you're ever visiting Division Street, you gotta try this one out. One other thing that I'd really like to do is get your waffle and the chicken tender. Just wrap it up like that, and then just bite it. Mm. And I just love how the savouriness and the sweetness pair together. It's, it's an odd combination, but it works so well. It's something like, you know, when you get McDonald's fries and you dip it in with some um, ice cream, that's the exact same feeling over here. If you ever want to learn how to make the fried chicken over here, the closest one that you can find is our recipe that is on our website. I'll share the link down here. Let's go somewhere else. There's this shop over here that you can actually buy like a secondhand clothes uh, by the kilo. So it's only 15 pounds per kilo, which is quite cool, you know? Let me show you where I used to live when I was studying here in Sheffield. Now, I think me and Marie Kondo, we share the same ancestor because I love to live in a really clean and tidy environment. And that's why I chose to live on my own. <laughs> now this is Velocity. Let me show you where I live. So I used to live over there, that unit right over there. Right. So this is the Tesco Express that I normally come to buy uh, my groceries because it's the nearest one to where I live. So there was one. I bought a bag of tomatoes, uh, a bag of celery, as well as a um, lettuce. Guess how much that cost? Three pens because it was reduced. So <laughs> it was only three pens and they look absolutely fresh. Uh, then the thing is, the funny thing is, I didn't have any cash with me at that time, so I had to pay that three pens with my credit card. <laughs> Let's go. One thing about Sheffield is you're gonna save a lot of money uh, on gym membership because it's such a hilly city. This is tiring, I've been driving so long that I forgot how hilly this Sheffield is. <sighs> this is MacDoc's first ever office, 210 Portobello. I come from a place where it's always sunny. To me, 15 degrees Celsius, it's sort of like winter. <laughs> now guys, this is where I did my masters in music psychology. This used to be a women's hospital here in Sheffield, just so you know. This building right behind me is Firth Court. If you didn't wear your robe and take a picture right in front of this building, regardless of the course that you're taking, then you're not a Sheffield graduate. <laughs> so guys, we are now here in Western Park. You can even reenact the sounds of music scene over here, don't you think? Like, I am 16, going on 17. Do, 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 do. Hello! Sometimes I'll come here and think to myself if one day, Will, you're just gonna work hard enough so you could bring your family here to enjoy this beautiful scene with you. One day, I'll get there. <sighs> Anyways, come on, let's go to the next part that I love most. This is a typical UK weather, it's now raining. Before heading back home and continue procrastinating on my dissertation, I usually stop by Mr. Whippy over here to get myself 
some soft serve ice cream. Just a normal one, please. That's my Mr. Whippy with some rainwater. And another flake over here. Ah, cool. This is my take on Mama Duke's egg Florentine. Get some fish sauce and we're gonna pour them into our sauerkraut. Add a bit of sesame oil to it and a tablespoon of Maktuk's fire chili paste. Then let's slice up some spring onions and add them into our sauerkraut. Give it a good mix. Next, let's add a bit of apple cider vinegar. Add two egg yolks into a mixing bowl and whisk it. Now, add some melted butter bits by bits and mix them well. Now I'm also adding a tablespoon of mayonnaise to give it an extra creaminess. Season it with some salt, black pepper. I'm also adding some dill for a fresh citrus-like taste. We'll need the juice from half a lemon. Squeeze it in and continue whisking the mixture. I have some boiling hot water over here. I'm gonna carry out my mixing bowl. Put it on top over here like a double boil method. And then just keep stirring in until my hollandaise sauce is thickened up a bit. That should be done. This is our hollandaise sauce ready to go. Now let's pour this into a bowl. Don't throw away the water because we're gonna use the same water to make our poached egg in a bit. Get yourself a piece of sourdough bread. The thing is, my toaster could not fit this in, so I'm just gonna toast it on the pan. And I'm gonna just add a bit of butter onto my sourdough, and let's toast it. We're gonna make our buttery spinach now. Let's add in the butter. Now we're going to throw in our spinach. These are baby leaf spinach. There we go. We're going to season the spinach with some salt and pepper. Okay guys, time to poach our eggs. So, let's get our water back on. Heat it up again. Now, to the water, I'm going to add some vinegar. While the water is boiling, get yourself a smallish bowl where you're going to crack eggs into it. While the water is boiling, we're going to lower down the heat a bit. Stirring it this way, create like a small little whirlpool in the middle. Okay guys, time to plate it. From what I remember, it starts off with some spinach. Next, we're gonna add the poached eggs. Our hollandaise sauce. Next, we're gonna add a bit of our sauerkraut pinche on the side. And last but not least guys, let's add a bit of dill on top just to garnish our dish. To my favorite part, time to tuck in. Look at that. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, guys. I'm so excited to eat this. I'm gonna add the sauerkraut. Mm. So good, guys. Now, I really enjoyed the sauerkraut kimchi that I made today, only because it's a bit more spicy 
hair, it just suits my palette way more. Give this recipe a go and if you've got any questions or suggestions, just drop them in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next episode of Tasty Venture. Ta-ra!